Hello everybody. Hi Joanne's fans. Today I will playing with uh, of course with the Picasso creams because I don't even um, set up for today the table because I don't even remove the gels. I just can stop using and playing with. And as always, uh, I try to show something easy peasy, sometimes a little bit advanced to make sure everybody find uh, the best uh, valuable uh, knowledge. So today I will show a super easy like waving effect. Just like that is one stroke and I think that is the easiest one stroke uh, design what you can. Thank you for joining me. Hi Jackie. Hi Rosa. Hi Terry. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. So something really really basic basic it's mean super easy to recreate and uh, you can do like uh, on multiple nails like this kind of wavy uh, design okay i really really love because it's easy and uh, i will show on small nails and i will show on uh, the longer nails too because uh, always when i do something on large tip everybody is like oh but that is just on the large surface no it's you can do we have three uh, amazing uh, one uh, stroke brush all three is handmade and i'm so proud of them because make it easy <laughs> and uh, you can do uh, even uh, short nails even long nails i just show on long nails too uh, I like to do because you see better the motion if teeny tiny uh, you maybe don't see the full motion how I created okay so that is what 100% sure you can do that immediately you just need uh, the Joanne's Picasso cream color minimum two color tone as you see but you can do three or four <laughs> and uh, you need a brush and of course you can do with any other colors for example that is i made uh, with uh, the proxima that one which is metal and make like this dimensional uh, uh, wavy things looks like a french so uh, cover pink color and uh, i use the of course the tango which is the dark purple okay and it's too that is really one minute's design okay so it's like you cannot uh, uh, do mistake it's absolutely uh, non-figurative i think it's really cool and really fast in the salon okay so let's playing with that i will prep quickly what you need for sure i'm using and i show the coverage to the spongy puff set you know me i try to make easy everything okay to the real salon life work right and uh, i will using that time the blue the because you already see the indigo i use the indigo and the floral okay that two color make this effect if you want to switch to the metallic uh, of course the proxima is the metal um, version of the purple only only just one second so that one okay and right now i will doing blue just to make uh, color different uh, and after i will do uh, pink too because i already prep uh, the nude base one too so let's open the jar and i take it out to my color palette some of the gel actually it's like don't need too much it's just a teeny tiny uh, quantity i always take out too much uh, <laughs> just because after uh, end the live video i continue painting you know so i always used till the last uh, little quantity <coughs> wipe it and i take it out the indigo uh the indigo the indigo is a special blue it's not a classic blue have a uh like indigo like lightly slightly little shy of the purplish undertone okay 
it's really special and uh, I just love it so I will using that one what else I will need I will need a little white but maybe not I don't know yet so I will take it out I will using uh, the classic uh, Picasso white for that I will show why I'm using that one okay so I'm using the classic Picasso white just a bit okay girls that quantity I uh, show the the metal tool so you can see uh, anyway it's not a large quantity but that is for 10 nails or <laughs> or more you know what I mean so it's really really a lot <coughs> sorry I just wiped the gloves immediately because if not I will touch my clothes and everything will be blue and don't judge me I love the blue but not on my clothes <coughs> on my t-shirt okay what else I'm using uh, I have to uh, cleaning out the the brush a little bit okay so I will do that oh messy girl because I didn't made perfectly I was planning to use the purple so I just touch it down press 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 and wipe the other brush I will be using the the mini one mm -hmm. where are you little mini skinny mini I find it okay so I wash that one too make sure no another color inside mm. actually I it's really pretty clean but even if cleaned you see how coming out um, some kind of brown what I used before so this is why it's important especially if you're using the white color okay I do make right now only the blue so not really sensitive but if you want to do white one stroke design make sure you wipe uh, washed out the brush properly so one thing if you do wavy no matter how many wave you do or no matter how long the nails okay one thing you have to uh, start the design when the previous is ended up so you see the customer nail she have to keep as usually she do like naturally okay and try to do the wave is create a one image at the end if it makes sense so for example the best way oh, whatever I start from one side I'm using right now the easy one which is which is uh, the larger one I pick the darker and I pick the lighter and I mixing start mixing more more okay it doesn't have to mix perfectly because i will working on the the tips directly okay and <coughs> what else i will do before i start the, the one stroke i will tapping with the sponge because it's a dark blue maybe you will not uh, see immediately but when the top shine is covered will be really visible so indigo is back and I start using that quantity because I already have and I pick up a little bit of the jar I told you a little bit mm -hmm. press 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 okay it's already loaded a lot because it's a new sponge okay next time when I'm do blue I will just 
use that one from the storage box okay and right now i just tap 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 tap, tap make sure is no excess so no extra quantity wrinkle on the surface it's flat okay and i just do tap 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 honestly on the black you think is not uh, visible that is deadly high pig highly pigmented so it's full coverage honey that will be blue honestly after when i apply the top shine on the top you will see okay and i continue center a little bit deeper and more down in the sides okay just tap 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 you remember the last video i show how uh, easy to do ombre with okay so that is same just right now i'm using on the dark color so maybe not uh, really uh, visible yet Mm -hmm. tap, 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 tap. Mm -hmm. yeah, so she go into the lamp I let cure curing and that one is the same because I told you I will make it on the shorties so no excuse <laughs> You know, sometimes I just hear like, oh, uh, that is doesn't work or too big for the nail. Mm -mm. Any kind of size you can do uh, same. Even if I do f uh, like wavy things or flowery things, honey is just grab the uh, shorter with smaller brush. That is, I make two in the center. So I tap, tap, tap. and make it blue okay so here we are okay I just make like wavy things as a background but doesn't have to be perfect okay I wipe again my gloves mm -hmm. excellent so and I immediately put into the storage box okay because next time the customer want the blue I just grab that one so this 10 piece storage box is fully loaded with uh, with uh, the sponge and I keep it in the drawer because uh, you wicker about you know and this way no lint no hair no uh, dust on so just grab and use it okay so let's do and I will show how easy to do that no rules and no regulation how you do I just start somewhere and I pull it a little bit I make wavy not so crazy because if I do contour that will be uh, difficult to contouring right <laughs> have to yourself do not make too crazy wavy things Grab more I do here okay I'm going to the direction to both camera just like this and you can go over it as many times as you want change the shape of the wave okay I go back to this direction I do not loading one more of the gel because it's super duper pigmented and creamy so you don't have to at all okay and I do upside down right now and 
and I make connect with the previous one like that okay I go over it again I just loading the brush with gel I do that more wavy that part like this part I really love it this part is like too boring okay so I just go over it to make more zigzaggy oh yeah just like that mm -hmm. too much zigzag so I go over it and that part smoothening down okay and I do this direction here we are okay next one now this part i make a sign when she start so for example she start from here okay that will help to make continuously <coughs> uh i'm using the easy one okay the larger one i just checked the question which brush i'm using but again i will showing on the small nail uh, nail surface so you will see uh, actually uh, all surface will work beautifully so and again i just pull it pull it down U turn <laughs> and I'm going up. And I'm going like this. Okay. I'm just loading my brush. I do not like one time add too much gel. Okay. I always uh, better if I feel need more coverage I go go over it but do not make too much gel use too much gel one time okay like this you can do any uh, actually any kind of flower with this technique or ocean wave or whatever it's just cool I think so okay and again the next have to be start where the previous ended up okay so I just add And I do same, same mean technically same, but I do not make totally same. You see, it's already dried. Okay, I like starting with almost dried uh, quantity, because if you already apply too much, you don't have a chance to to uh, remove or just make more trouble. Okay, so I loading the brush again. Mm -hmm. and I'm going waving to somewhere like this okay I do totally different than the other one I go over it
Mm-hmm. One more. This is why I told you, you don't have to make perfectly on the palette to mixing the colors because I will uh, uh, using the nail surface as a, as, as a place to mix where mixing. Make connect. I just do total same, just opposite sides, side. Okay. Going here over. I do not want to zigzag because when I contouring it just make more difficult. Mm -hmm. just like that mm -hmm. okay let's put into the lamp <coughs> I had fully cured them and I'm using the mini cine mini and let's I do right now really quickly okay just watch because uh, this way you see is really really fast things you can do any other colors too of course and just because i already prepped it just make more easy to me okay i do different than the previous one so that is coming down It's okay it's the first layer is almost dried I love it that way because anyway I going over it and you see I just go second time and it's more smoothening out and and not so uh, so not too much material I see uh, some uh, nail artist is working already too much using too much gel and that can be the big oh oh no nah, not good <laughs> not good not good because uh, you cannot smooth it out nicely especially if you don't using the the new cream because you can do that design with the original uh, Picasso too but you get more trouble honestly because that is just make uh, blending easy easily and uh, make easy to to make super smooth the one stroke okay you know what i did i put here and not here <laughs> and, and i just mixed with the darker one so I just wipe on the paper quickly and I add the new gel because the light blue got too dark blue mm -hmm. I just remixed quickly <coughs> I check the connection quickly from here hi Angela <laughs> and then going up and a little bit up and a little bit down and a little bit up okay it's almost dried as you see so I go over again 
take the wavy effect mm -hmm. sorry Not that one I just check when they start just like this loading my brush again and I do the teeny tiny wavy I do not want a uh, typical flower looks like design so I, I smoothening down like more like just a wave not a beta but it's depending how you like you can do like more uh, wave inside to looks like flower but honestly I like more if you're smoothening out to less if it makes sense I mean I talking about that kind of wavy things so uh, I think uh, more easy to contouring and uh, because it's a lacy things like a wavy things is better if not too much of the zigzag you see I uh, right now I'm smoothening out to make sure it's not really flower like or petal like things Okay, light blue. Ooh. In my table have really tones, five or six light for lightening, like table light and professional light and something, and the gel start curing on my palette. <laughs> but you have no problem with that because you don't using this quantity of the the light okay let's put into the i just that i want modified quickly i just feel that way mm okay so she is going to the lamp and the other one is coming out I will add the top shine on before I start contouring isn't it super easy did you know how the top shine the Joanne's top shine is good on any surface gel polish hard gel soft gel acrylic will stay on beautifully and keep the shine during the whole uh, period uh, the customer uh, wear the nail it's just so perfect durable doesn't uh, easy to to make this coloring of course if someone using crazy uh, dye like a uh, lot of kind of <laughs> hardcore painting <coughs> help to the husband or whatever yes you can discoloring everything in the world everything but that is really uh, keep like if someone a uh, smoker and you know that yellowish sometimes the nail or just working uh, in the restaurant so too much uh, decreaser she use or whatever is not a problem it's strong enough and it's flexible that is important this is why good on any surface even the acrylic mm -hmm. let's cure it 
how you like it already so far it's just so uh, so easy and I think it's really quick nail art and the customer will be wow <laughs> you know so impressed that I made I promise I do quickly especially how after that I have to prep my table I have to close every jar and uh, because I'm going to the uh, Oregon uh, event and I will teaching so I will in on site so I will bring my old gel everything so that is I think the whole weekend I will do that <laughs> because I I never know what I want to using you know what I mean I, I I like if everything on my table on around me if I don't uh, pack something honestly I will looking for only that one during the weekend <laughs> And it's not good. So by this reason, I just grab every single gel, everything, and I will take it over there, so the student and my nail friend can see, try, apply, play with it. is is really really cool. Cool. Hola for from Buenos Aires, Argentina. <laughs> Thank you for joining us again. I'm blue again. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. You guys same. I always touch my uh, touch the nail surface with my gloves. You are excited to the week? Yeah, me too. Me too. Right now is I'm just you know. Oh, what I will forget it. That is the main. But honestly, one of my best nail event experience uh, was in Oregon fully loaded with super nice persons nail sisters is i'm just so surprised how can be on one place everybody is so nice and cool and we had a fun and uh, even if that time last year was my terrible things because i lost my baby but uh, these super girls is just uh, make everything unforgettable and enjoyable so I appreciate that and this is why extremely I waiting to go back and meet with her, them again so you have only just a micro brush we have a micro the mini and the easy one so that is the other two okay you have a third one which is the smallest the micro I really really love to use the micro I love and I use a lot especially the super tiny leaves and okay however uh, the micro you are not able to do big waves like that for sure I will bring the one stroke brushes to Oregon so no worry, no worry. After you see with naked eye what is the difference, and I bring my old tips, the previous one, the existing one too. So I will take everything with my uh, with myself, so you can see with your naked eye how, yeah, it's important. And I will demoing uh, during the the whole weekend, so you can see and you will realize uh, what you really need. <laughs> so I just do kind of highlighting okay i do not make full contour at all do you see i do not make the hole is contoured i'm in the camera oh good i i am because sometimes i'm painting and because i want to see of course i just turn around and i move out from the camera this is why i don't like too much zoom on the camera because if to my zoom, unfortunately, I'm easily move out from the the be, uh, correct place. Okay, and I just lightly touch, almost without the gel. Do you see? It's just almost without because that is give dimension to them.
Okay, and here too. You see, this is why I told you do not make too much uh, fluffy things because after you <laughs> you had have a difficult time to to make that highlighting. somewhere I add more for example here you see somewhere I add more thicker the line with purpose you see that will give an extra dimension to the whole course you don't have to do it that what I'm doing is just a teeny tiny extra to add to the design I just love it I always like highlighting and shadowing you know me honey I, I cannot stop I always add something more and more You see, I don't even connect at the lines. One. They're really good to do with the gel because I did long long time ago when had no good art gel in the market I used the acrylic paint and what is the main difference between a, a super good quality one stroke gel and between the acrylic painting acrylic painting is dry on the air okay so if you are old like me and you experience you know what I mean so you have to be rush okay and I like to work in quick but just as I want not because it's dry on the air and the plus the other things how always you can wash back the gel if you don't like it for example the customer right now joking with me and I just messed up something I just wipe it off the part where is I messed up and I can just do again so that is save a lot of time when I made with acrylic painting, I have to buff back the whole design, right? And drawing again, or just tell to the customer, you know what, honey, that's your fault. This is how you live. <laughs> Which is sometimes if it's just super teeny tiny boo boo, that's okay. But sometimes it's just, mm, you know what I mean? It's just a big no. So here I add more wider the line and go. Okay, here they are. You just add extra dimension. That I showed the three brush brushes. Okay, so that is the mini that is the easy and the micro i just show right now the micro is micro honey that is the mini mini so here you can see the differences mm -hmm. i hope it's visible those are the perfect I really l use a lot the micro one 
you love uh, watching when I'm painting. <laughs> Thank you. I just figured it out maybe uh, when I have time, I just start painting the whole day and I do music underneath, you know, just like uh, a video and I just post it. And I don't talking, I just painting and contouring and highlighting. And that can be a really good relax video. So here is the blue and the teeny tiny, because of course, teeny tiny is deserved too. Okay. That way, and I pull it this direction. As you see, I don't paint till the end. Mm -mm. previous one just quickly that one I think the next one what I will do on my table is the flamingo and the Carmen it's just I think it's so good together I will do that one too you are on the dinner and you watching me <laughs> why you don't eat actually thank you so much you are here Just like that. And here we are. Okay, so why I did quickly double of that because I do not want how you thinking is only just on long surface looks like great. And I will remove from the the demonstration tape holders so you will see when I add next to each other how it's same cool in the small uh, nails too not just on the super long Uh -oh. mm -hmm. Flash curing, quick curing, not flash curing, just quickly I put into the lamp, full cure. Okay, so let's see what we created today so the customer nails on the blue is look like that mm -hmm. you are joined junkie <laughs> Okay, so this is how it looks like and the customer will really love to add e next to each other and show to the friend on the office or something. Look at it's continuously. It's, it's just so cool and I know the customer they love to you know play with. I am actually if I do design I always do like connected and always I do position and I just playing and of course when I playing uh, everybody grab my hand right hi everyone so here is the uh, oh you see i already touched with something oh because i touched the 
the palette. Hold on, hold on. I just remove quickly with uh, alcohol. And I'm looking my gloves. Mm -hmm. So I just remove the blue. So here is the metallic version. Okay, with it's just a new the. Uh, hi from Argentina. <laughs> hi Jenny. Thank you for joining me. Hi Karen. How are you, sweetheart? I do not see long time. <clears throat> so here's the metallic version or the teeny tiny on the short nails. You remember the metallic of the Picasso creams or those colors? Have a lot, okay? I just uh, try to choose. Oh, Gaia, the Proxima, the Cassiopeia. Look at that. Metallic turquoise. Holy moly. You can use for ombre or one stroke or whatever you want. Okay, have a lot of color. I don't want to grab all. The previous video I already showed. Oh, I find where is the purple. Haha. -ha. You see? <laughs> so, and the small together. You just create one image together. Here we are. And if you turn, it looks like dimensional. You got them all, all Picasso. Oh my God, honey. When you open it, open it slowly and let enough time to enjoy. It's like always when I open the Picasso colors, it's, it's just so satisfied. <laughs> so maybe you need extra time before the customer order that because it's just, I'm just so, look, turquoise. Always when I open it, it's just, Ha 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 ha! It's just so cool. And please don't forget to share with me your masterpieces <laughs> because that is really help to you uh, create any kind of uh, design, even flowers, even wavy things. What I teach today to you, okay? So. lot of kind of version what you can do with the new Picasso it's just so creamy and make so easy everything so thank you for joining me I will uh, do soon uh, one more uh, education and uh, till that just try to play with your Joanne's one stroke brushes because just the motion how you painting and uh, with uh, the new Picasso cream will be game changer I promise okay and don't forget to share with me. If you like and you feel valuable uh, this kind of videos from me, please uh, subscribe my YouTube channel, which is Joanne's Club. And I appreciate if you give a thumbs up because that helps to the algorithm. And please let others know, like in the groups, share it the YouTube video on any kind of groups to let people uh, uh, this education more know. I love you guys. Ciao.